All right, so everything going? <laughs> this is good. All right, so today uh, we're going to do a little mono coating uh, and show you how to cut out a simple checkerboard and using a, a press and seal method. And I'll see if we can uh, get this right, maybe. Well, that's you know? what you got. So first, I'm going to clean off the, uh, the mirror because we want to get it, all the dust cleaned off and stuff. And um, you can use a paper towel to hold down the mirror so that you don't, or the glass, depending on what you can use, like well, I'm not doing there. That's a pretty brilliant idea. Uh, well, it is a brilliant idea, yes. I learned that off of YouTube, watching YouTube. Actually, it was, it was our camera person yeah, told me that a few minutes ago because I was an idiot. All right. So once you get it all nice and clean, the next thing you want to do is uh, get it all wet again. Well, we just got all that off. Yeah, we did. We did. But I just can't make up my mind. I'm kind of fickled that way. So uh, we're going to pull the backing off the monaco to make sure that we get the right part down. If I can get the backing Don't off. Don't put it on upside down. I, I would I hear that's bad. I, I would never do that. I heard that's bad. I could be wrong. All right. Well, you could be wrong, but I don't think you are. So you want to grab that, that bottom part there, and we'll get it sort of uh, flat there. Mm. And we'll put it on down right there and just sort of okay. uh, move it out a little bit. Now, um, what you can do is you can flatten it with a card, like if you happen to be at an AMA convention. You know, you could use... We can cut that all off. <laughs> anyway, you can, use, you can use this card. And I just like the picture. I'm just showing the picture. So, hotel room keys. Hotel room right? keys, credit cards, anything, uh, anything you want. Uh, if you happen to have... Uh, anyway, it looks like we missed a little spot. We missed a spot. Did with the Windex here. Now, normally uh, I do this and I leave it dry uh, for an hour or two. Um, yeah, because what happens is that it actually activates the glue a little bit and sticks it down. You tell them why that happens. Yeah, the ammonia in the window cleaners actually act lightly activate the adhesive on the covering, which will tack it down. It's not enough to leave or put it on a model that way, but it works good for getting the air bubbles out and then letting it set up. So. Yeah, and it doesn't, it doesn't affect the... Um, the actual covering itself when you go to put it on something else. Exactly. So it works pretty good. Anyway, we get we, the idea is that you want to get it all flat so that you can make nice straight cuts on it. And that's, that's what we're going to do here in a second. So um, the first thing I want to do, I'm going to square it up because we don't need it that, that large actually, I think. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of this part over here because I don't want to make that many cuts. Now you want to use a nice sharp exacto blade so you get a cut like that. New blade all the and, time. Yeah. When you're using and if you have a complicated thing, uh, you definitely want to um, use a number of blades. Like in this particular one, um, you know, this, this is pretty complicated here, and this is uh, this was done by the same method, and also the James Dean James Dean cut out here, uh, same method. So when it gets complicated, you want to switch blades as as starts to get dull. So I'm just going to use the ruler and we'll get it to about the length here of the ruler. So I'm going to cut off the side here and I'm going to cut it at an angle here. Nice. That way we get a diamond shape out of it. And pull this off. There you go. Always best when you're cutting long cuts like that to pull back along the cut. That way it does have a snag. It doesn't. Yeah. Back, in. back and towards and away and towards you, like, like away from your cut actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my glass down because I'm going to get here and get into the monocoat's face. And I can also see my face in the mirror, which is just not where I want to be right at this moment. I saw your shutter. Yeah, it scared. It actually frightened me a little bit. Might have peed my pants a little bit there, too. Uh -oh. Well, I saw your face. That's right. Oh, God. So, yeah, see, so too can play that game, buddy. Mm -hmm. All right, so anyway, I'm making some quick cuts here. And again, having a nice sharp blade helps out tremendously on this. Now, if you should happen to move it uh, during this process or during any of the processes, um, you can fix it. You can, you know, come back and adjust it a little bit. And using the width of the blade makes it nice. Now, that always doesn't work out. Uh, like if you use a French curve or something like that, uh, you have to sort of take measurements. And generally what I use for measurement is I just use a Sharpie and make my lines at both ends. And then that way uh, has your cleaning it off and putting it onto the model uh, with any alcohol-based cleaner, uh, you're going to remove that Sharpie, that Sharpie line. I should pull that one or you want to... Yeah, go ahead one? and pull that one. We'll get rid of that one. Oh, it's sticking down good last one. Sorry, I was, I was holding past so the line. I thought, man, <laughs> that's pretty, pretty darn good. All right. 
So um, I think what we'll do is we'll cut it across this one so we keep the diagonals going. Okay. Uh, we don't we don't really need a large pattern here to show everybody how to do this. So I'm pull those out. Yeah. There we are. Yeah, I know. It actually, actually is uh, working pretty good. Yeah, Windex. Windex has a fair amount. Oops, sorry, I moved that. Windex has a fair amount of ammonia in it too, so it helps the stick. All right, so then I'll start down here since I made that cut the first time. Yeah, I'll come right across here. This is a cork-backed uh, Westcott ruler, so it helps it stick and stay still so as you're dragging across. If you're using a solid metal ruler, it gets a little more yeah. tricky to keep it in place, especially because the monocoat is a little slippery. Now see, it has, yeah, see that actually went, I went away from it a little bit there. A little dull on the blade. That's what I'm thinking. We probably should change the blade out, but, you know. Pressure here. Uh, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, I've, and as the blade gets dull, what you can do is, is I had it more at a, at a 90 degree angle and I'm, I'm bringing it down. Lay it down yeah, lay it down so that we get more of the blade on it. And okay. that'll, that'll at least give it to us so that we can finish up. You're really trusting there, you know. Yeah, I know. Me and sharp objects don't work that well. Uh, it's a saw stop exacto blade. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not. No, no. You wish it was. I do wish it was. Because, yeah, it's funny. Oh, didn't want to do that, actually. Yeah, they slide it back in. Yeah, you can slide it back in if they, if they sort of get out of place. Yeah, just turn it back up. It's nice being on the mirror, too, because you can see the light reflecting back up. It's a little easier to see than if you were on just a piece of glass. Yeah, I, I generally, you know, glass on white will, will show through pretty good, too, or just the opposite color. And then once you have that, uh, you start pulling it off. So we'll leave that one here, and we're going to pull off every other one uh, to get our checkerboard effect. And work row by row so you don't screw it up. And I tend to have a you skip a row and do the wrong one. Yeah, it's exactly. Quick. It gets ugly real, real fast. So going through there rather quickly. Be careful not to cut your fingers off too, because yeah, because I am kind of dangerous with this, and you, you are pulling towards yourself. So, but the main idea is once you get that blade underneath the edge here, um, it comes up pretty easy once you once you break the. Surface tension. surface tension of the liquid underneath it pulls up and like I said generally uh, we let it dry a little bit longer than this but we don't have time for that today because we're doing this demo we don't need a three-hour video well we uh, you know I don't know maybe maybe <laughs> they want a three-hour video you can leave a comment below as to whether you want a three-hour video uh, just don't use any profanity uh, you know, we will delete that. that's all we ask all right so that's pretty cool it does. It came up pretty, yeah. pretty nice. All right, so what's the next step? What do we got? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and see if I can get rid of some of this water here in between. I know, I know, I'm trying not to, but the water bugged me. All right, so the next step in the process is using the press and seal, which we talked about at the beginning. Uh, I'm pulling off a piece that's a little bit larger than what your actual work Glass press and seal you pick up at the supermarket. Yeah, and you get it out has as tight as you can um, when you press it down it's gonna distort a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna distort out so uh, right above each square hold down a square with one hand and sort of press with the other and then switch and try to keep the square as level or uh, you know in one spot as much as you can sounds like you got tr tr trash truck truck. trash truck all right trash day today by the way so yeah, so get your trash cans out in case uh, in case you're wondering what days we work on we work on trash day that's true all right. Actually, they're much quieter than they might. Well, no, maybe not. <laughs> they just they just got close enough now. We, we work in the real world, people. Yes, yes. We don't have fancy studios. We have we have uh, garage shops. Garage, garage shops. All right. We'll see in a second. And then the moment of truth is when you start lifting it up now, um, you want to break the tent 
Steve, that one wasn't coming, so we're going to press this down a little bit more. Not coming from the corner, so. Well, back. the problem is that yeah, sometimes it does. Uh, see, like there, it didn't. It just it just depends on how well. But once you start pulling up, you can see where it's not pulling up, and you can sort of press it down a little bit on the corners. And it's just taking your time, right? Exactly. If you just pull it up and miss one of these checkers, you're not going to be happy. Yes, you will be sad. Although you can make a little bit of adjustment after the fact. Uh, it's better. And the last one, there we are. All right. So now we have our nice checkerboard here uh, laid out the way that we want it and uh, stuck down there. And we're just going to use this old wing. Let me get the glass out of your way. Yeah, go ahead and uh, do that. And then we'll bring the checkerboard back. This one. All right. So uh, we'll, put, we'll put a little bit of Windex down just to help a little bit. And let me spread it out here. All right. So let's bring that down. So now normally you'd line this up, you know, precisely. Fancy. Yeah, but we're just we're just slapping it down on this particular one. Um, so place it down, and then what I'm gonna do is press it down a little bit, and that'll help with the liquid underneath to stick it down some, so it doesn't move so much. And then you have your iron set on low, and go ahead, you can get easy down cool. into this. One. Oh, okay, so now it can be my fault. Well, yeah, that's, that's what I'm hoping, man. I know, I know. Anything See, happens, I told you it wasn't my fault. Uh, I didn't actually have Jason do so that. So I'm just gonna go, just gonna go over the each one square here. Yeah. Where I set at 200 with a with a sock on, so uh, our our iron temp should be around 175, 180. Yeah, you don't don't have to let it linger too long, uh, but long enough to get it tacked down yeah, and to activate the glue. Really that's trying to stick the checkers, and not not the. Uh, Press and seal at this point, yeah. melting the press and seal. Exactly. We'll Good. go over with a little more heat once we get everything Correct. down. Once we pull up the press and seal, we'll, we'll hit that. Definitely seems like it's sticking pretty well here. Yeah, yeah. yeah this Should have done this way the first time. Wait, wait, what first time? Well, this I mean, is the first time. this is the first time we've done this. <laughs> Maybe maybe at the end we'll show the outtake. Yeah. The last By the way, MDF Monaco there. doesn't stick to MDF, right? Yeah, MDF, <laughs> Monaco, no work. <laughs> little tech tip there in case you were wondering. In case you're. Hmm. All right. I think we got. I think we got. Let's see. Let's, so. see. Let's, let's see. Moment. Moment of truth again. Just yank, huh? No, please don't. Please uh, okay. don't yank. Right, right there. Put that one down. In there too. Yeah. Let me see. Here. Let me pull this. There we go. Whoa. Now, if, if if you go to corners to corners, yeah, see this stuff is this. This thing's sticking. Yeah, this I could I could feel the stickiness on this. I think it's from the stone the heat. Okay. But just hold down the corners. And then uh, I, I, I touch this one up. Go ahead and touch that right there. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but just, again, work slowly. Any, anytime you're working with covering well, go ahead and hit RC that. planes in general, take your time. Yep. That's the key. And so we're doing, pulling it back on itself to hopefully, and of course that also creates more tension it's on the peel and stick. That one didn't get stuck down. Yeah, go ahead and put that down and put this one down. There we are. Man, this stuff is really, this stuff grippy. is really, yeah, you can, you can feel how grippy it is. I'm gonna try pulling it up. Oh, <laughs> grab that one again. And again, it's just, it's just a... Uh, so we probably should have taken our time a little bit more with the, with the press and seal. Well, we're, try, we're trying to rush it here for everybody, but yeah. you know, as long as you take your time, you're, you're gonna get them all in the same spot and they can't, like I said, they can be adjusted after the fact. So, um, the main thing is, once the tips are down, oh, okay, well, we, we need to coordinate a little once, better now. Once I iron you down. Yeah. One, the, once the tips are down on it, uh, oh. then yeah, it, does, it doesn't move gently as a rule. And since I've got the far tips, we'll work from that side to this side once this is all. Yeah, I'm going to pull off this one. Yeah, you can hear how well this, this stuff is really sticking yeah, good. Steel, no joke, man. I, my, my, old, my old thing of pressing steel wasn't that good, actually. It didn't, didn't stick down as well as this. Newer stuff, so they've, they've new and improved. Yeah, they've improved it. There we go. May also have the fact we didn't let the uh, Windex dry at all when we put it down. So yeah, I spent a little more time on that first one. That really. Started. There we go. Look. There you go. So now we're, okay, we'll work that out. Yeah, let's work that out while it's still loose there. Perfect. There you go. We go over all your checkers, make sure everything's down nice and solid, and got a beautiful checker. That looks really good, John. Yeah, even though we just you know just threw it on there, it's actually yeah, fairly it went straight. Down pretty flat and yeah. pretty straight. So, so we have we have uh, this is this wing is probably ten years old too, yeah, and that's the monocoat that was on it. So yeah, so it needs to be reshrunk anyway. 
But uh, I see what you did here. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. Yeah, I want my wing to be reshot. Yeah, let's figured, do a you know, video. Let's on do that. a video on that. Let's let's do. It. So anyway, um, the last step in all this. Once you heat it down, you get that down pretty solid. Uh, the last step is just to wet a cloth. Oh, you moved oh, a little moved bit on me. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. That's the best way to do it. Is to pull it up like this. It's definitely a little wet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's sliding on it. Kind of, kind of big time wet. Windexy. Let's see there. So just get the corners together, and let me get a little tighter here, because I'm I'm too particular. So, oh. and the nice thing is that because this is cut together, it's it's pretty easy to line up these corners. Now, I say easy as I, as I <laughs> as, you struggle as I struggle with it. Yeah. A little bit more, right there. I think. Yes, there it is. That's that's. I just push it down. Put a little spit on it. All right. While you're while you're setting, I'm probably best not to drag over it. So there you go. That's how you put it on checkerboard on a monaco covered wing. And if you want, you can raise the heat up a tiny bit more. You don't want it too much. You don't want these to shrink with the heat. Yep. But uh, put them on. And again, like I was starting to say, um, using uh, Monaco trim solvent with a rag, uh, go over the whole thing gently. You don't need much trim solvent at all. Uh, that's going to help uh, adhere this down and seal up all the edges. Lock all the edges. Exactly. Especially Monaco, it's like welding, basically. Yeah. And so that's, uh, that's definitely the finished step. But that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, we do have another video like this where I'm working at a much faster speed because I was younger. Um, than this but uh, this is the simple way to get all of this design onto your plane with monocoat or any other heat, heat covering you want to use um, press and seal buy at any store get that use that monocoat trim any hobby hobby store links below and yeah you'll see all the links below if you like this video please give us a like uh, if you don't like the video then uh, click on that uh, unlike or you know thumbs down twice if you click on it twice then that gives it doubles me, up it doubles yeah, up yeah right. doubles up and uh, then go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel because we will be getting uh, all kinds of uh, other videos on both drones planes everything so be sure to subscribe and get us uh, to that 500 mark and you got a chance to win a prize actually that's right. uh, for a everybody drone. that's that's subscribing up to that 500 mark perfect that's it have a good one I think I think you're right. Maybe I put it on upside down. That's good. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I knew I should have pulled off that glass the first time. Now. Yeah.